The thing is, we're not gonna be driving Gina. We're gonna be driving my Prius to pick up a surprise. Got to the location. I'm so excited. I think we're in the right place. I'll show you guys what it is once we're in there. Um, I'll just tell you right now that they're blue. Oh. That's crazy, man. These are for Julian. Oh, that's crazy. I gotta bring this thing later. So when you open the door, bling bling. We got sticky back and there's plastic in the front side. The seats are here. I'm gonna go somewhere and park to take a closer look at them. Oh my god! Look at these. I just wanna feel it. Wow. Alexa, turn on my light. All right, the seat is here, safe and sound. I'm gonna open it up now. This thing's pretty light. I didn't get the carbon version because it was significantly cheaper. Like, I think the carbon's 200 more. My first impressions on this seat is it looks pretty sick. I mean, this is just a regular black finish, so I'm not really too wowed by that, which is expected. I'm a do my first seat test. Oh, oh my god, it fits perfect. My cousin April is here. She's gonna take a seat in it. How does it feel? <laughs> Just like I don't a seat. Know. I feel like if you were bigger than me, it would be too small. Oh, but I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty little bit bigger You're than you. You're not gonna sit in your own passenger seat? No, this is for the drivers. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think if you were bigger than me. <laughs> It'll be no good. <laughs> what is up everyone, Tyler here, and I'm back with yet again another video. This one's a kind of special one. It's been one that I've been waiting for a long time to make. As you saw with the footage right before this, that was, I'd say two months ago when I got the seats. <laughs> Not sure if you guys noticed in the past couple videos, right there, there is a bucket seat, a blue thrash racing bucket seat. It has been sitting there for quite a while now. I actually bought that during Black Friday. The one thing that was holding me up was the Street Faction seat brackets. They actually don't have a seat bracket for the G35. It's for the 350Z and what I didn't know is that no one used their seat brackets on G35 supposedly and they needed to test it although it was taking kind of long so they sent it over and if they don't fit then I'll send them back. It really shouldn't be that hard to install either. Let's, why don't we take this to the garage now and start the install. Here are the original seats in my car. You could tell I'm sitting probably about four or five inches higher than the ground, which is a good amount. The overall seat is in decent condition. They usually get cracks around down here because when you get out, there's a lot of weight going down on this. I try to patch it up, but more started happening. Let me sit in these for the last time. This is my seating position, about shorter level. It's already pretty short to be honest. I assume I'm gonna go down like two inches um, about my nose area and I can barely see over the window. Did I break it? Yes. right there, that looks like a McDonald's ass pizza. And it's not moldy. This seat is definitely heavier than I thought. 
I'm gonna put it right where the door is so the door doesn't close on me when I'm putting in the other seat. But man, look at how dirty all of this is. I don't even know what that is. Ew, ew. Interesting. While putting these brackets in, I'm coming into a slight problem. If you can see, this bracket lines up flush without any trouble. And it does on this side too. But this one, I already have the slider on, but anyways, this one sits flush right there. But you can see how it doesn't sit flush right there. In order to get it to sit flush, it like digs into the carpet. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but to solve it, I'm gonna put a washer right here so it's not as far as a gap. And to make it equal, I'm gonna put this one in between there as well. So it is the same. I think that'll be my solution. I'll check back once they are on. Got the bolt in. There's a washer right there and here. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that did the trick actually. Seems pretty stable and not gonna go anywhere. It did although feel kind of sketch because of how lifted this side was and not super flush like this. This does not come with any instructions so I'm going by eye. Okay, I got them both together. I think the seat is about ready to get in. Got the seat out and it looks phenomenal. I'm so excited right now. I think I'm gonna start off with these two bottom ones because I want to be as low as possible. Something that I always wanted because with the stock seats it has you sit so high and I hate it. I'm gonna mount it to the brackets and see how it is. From the looks of it, they're both on the most bottom level. I think I'm gonna put the front bolt one more up, one or two, and I should be good because I'm sitting super far up right now. I think I do need to be shifted over that way. Man. Well, here it is guys. I have the seat in and pretty sturdy. I managed to figure it out and make it work. I literally thought that I wasn't even gonna get it on today and today was gonna be a to be continued kind of video. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I'll go ahead and show you guys the finished product. Here it is, the Thrash Racing Seat in action with the street faction seat bracket it has sliders i really didn't want sliders we'll see about that i am not sure if i can make it work without it the only thing that i have an issue with is the steering wheel is kind of close and it's far up i need a way to try to bring the steering wheel down more because it stops right about there i'm gonna be using the stock seat belt so i looped it through here so it's more tight and hugs you. I thought this is a safer way of buckling yourself in rather than having it like this and you won't be really that secure. While we're in the interior though, I'll show you guys my steering wheel and shift knob. That's a custom shift knob. This is a renowned steering wheel if you are interested. I think that's gonna do it for today's video. It was more work than I thought to put in these seats. Although there could have been easier and more efficient way of getting them in, I tried my best. <laughs> If you, get, if you want more content like this, comment down below any suggestions. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.